Hello guys and welcome back to the mole episode 7 and we have a jam packed episode full of twists, turns and suspicions ready for you in this episode. So if you guys are enjoying the series make sure to like, comment and subscribe. I am thoroughly enjoying this show. I think it's one of the freshest, most innovative shows in a hot minute. I know it was on in the early 2000s but when Netflix brought it back it feels glamorous, it feels glitzy and it also feels just as crazy and exciting as I wanted it to be. So without much further ado, let's get in to episode seven, shall we? So I may have accidentally spoken about Q's exit in the last episode, even though it wasn't technically confirmed until the start of this episode. That's my bad. I'm sorry. But also I feel like it wasn't that much of a spoiler. It, it was kind of gearing him up to go home anyway, leaving us on that cliffhanger. But I did think it was interesting that Q's gone. <sighs> it's a shame, but it also just does leave us with this core group of, what is it, seven people now? And I gotta say, they're really cutting down on the people that I'm suspicious of. I am not sure who I'm thinking it is. Every single episode, it seems to change, but there is one common thread, episode after episode after episode, that I'm just following. I'm following along that little piece of wire, hoping that it is correct but who knows let's get into today's first challenge so the group was split into three different teams the idea of this challenge was for each team to solve a puzzle and then to work together in order to cut wires to defuse a bomb every time they cut the wrong wire an amount of money would blow up and each team had to cut one wire in order to successfully get the 30k on offer it sounded like an easy, easy task. It was a lot easier than I think people were making it out to be. And this was what I found really, really frustrating with this challenge. I solved it pretty much instantly. Or not instantly, but like I had to get my friend to pause it. And then I looked at the conversion rates board. And the conversion rates board, essentially the, the whole thing was getting them to weigh out six kilograms of, um was it lead or tin or something like that i think it was tin actually and then they had to put it on a scales to unlock the wires to cut for the detonator and what they had to do is they had to measure it by also measuring water at the same time balancing the scales it should have been an easy one because if you looked on the conversion rate it told you that one kilogram was equal to one liter which is not the conversion rate as far as i am aware but it's an easy one to confirm, if that makes sense. The other ones on there were just distractions. I was thinking you might have to do some maths where you were converting to pounds, you were converting to litres, you were converting to pints, gallons, all of that. I thought it was going to get really complicated. But it was just as simple as find something that weighs six kilograms or six litres and that will give you six kilograms. It was as simple as that. But the teams did not find it that simple. In fact, one team did. Hannah and Muna solved it pretty much instantly. This is why I feel like these two are not the mole because they could have easily hung back and sabotaged each other, but they were both giving equal and valid input to this challenge, working it out, and they solved it very, very quickly. Like almost within like the first 30 minutes, not even that. I think they were done well before that as well. And so they were kind of just stuck because the other teams hadn't worked it out. The solution to the challenge was essentially you had a nine litre bottle, a five litre bottle, oh no, a four litre bottle. If you filled both of them up, or if you filled the nine litre up and poured it into the four litre, you'd be left with five litres. And then if you poured out the four litres, then you would be left with one litre. And then you could measure, okay, one litre versus one kilogram, and then just multiply that by six, essentially. Or you could work out how to get six litres by having that one left over, pour it into the four, keep it somewhere, and then find the five again and make that six. There were multiple different ways of doing it. And as we get to the other groups, you're going to see how frustrated I was that they just weren't getting it. So we then move on to Sean, Nish, and Diana. They were faffing about a little bit, but they didn't completely bomb it they did do quite well 
Sean was pushing for the to use the clue, but they didn't use the clue. I think Diana ended up solving it along with Niche, and then they worked it out, and it was fine. Sean, I'm writing him off of my suspects list purely because I feel like he's too obvious at this point. He's one of these people that is making it too bait that he is the mole, and I know people have been saying that across the last couple of episodes, and I've been like, mm, but maybe, but I do feel like he is just there to throw sticks in the mud and hope that people vote for him and take themselves out of the game. I don't know whether that's working for him, working against him, but currently, I don't think that he is the mole. I don't think he's showing any molish behaviour, I think he's just sabotaging on purpose. He's kind of just doing it for the sake of doing it. But their team managed to do it properly. There was a really stressful moment where Muna and Hannah were talking to them and were like, yo, we've got XYZ wire, you've got XYZ wire. And then they ended up cutting the wrong wire, Niche did. Um, but also, they treated it as, if we were going to get this right, then we what somebody needed to be a sacrificial lamb, and it was better for them to be the sacrificial lamb um lamb and then obviously um hannah and what's her face hannah and muna could cut the correct wire banking them 10k so really as much as they did lose 10k it seemed like that was a strategy for them in order to make 10k and not lose two sets so i guess it swings and roundabouts but it is where it is there's not really much you can do but now we're going to have to move on to Ryan and Michael. Ryan and Michael, one of them's got to be the mole. Surely one of them's got to be the mole. Or they are just incredibly, incredibly stupid. Incredibly stupid. Because I cannot believe that both of them just stood there the entire time going, uh, uh. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Oh, should we use the clue? Oh, not yet. No, let's just let's just stand around looking and seeing whether something will help us. Like, I really, really struggle to believe that they didn't see, they, they didn't work out that they needed to find six litres and then they couldn't have found six litres because all they needed to do was find four litres. That would have got them four kilograms and then work out, okay, half of that is two and just there, there was just there was just a better way of doing it than just sitting there and pondering uh what could we possibly do that was strike one strike two was using the clue so immediately they were making half of whatever they earned from this challenge strike three was once they passed the whole measuring the wet water situation they then got the radio and were like yo what do we need to what do we need to cut what colours have you got? We've got blue and yellow. Okay, blue, 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 blue. That's literally what they were screaming down the the walkie-talkie. Now, if you were in that situation, and I don't want to, I don't want to hear any, I don't want to hear any of you being like, oh, I can understand how they made that mistake. No, I'm sorry. Me, me and my friend both sat there and went, no, not even slightly. If somebody is, if you're talking about, well, okay, what one do we need to cut? And someone is screaming down the walkie-talkie over and over again. Blue, 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 blue. Who in their right mind cuts the yellow wire? Who? Who actually sits there and goes, oh, yeah, let's go yellow. They said blue, but let's go yellow. And the, the, the literal quote that I wrote down was, I cut yellow because you said blue. Sorry. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? And this is what I mean by like we, me and my friends out there, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna embarrass us. We're gonna embarrass ourselves here because this was like a theory that we came up with because it was the only rational explanation for how dumb these people are. Because I'm sorry, but that is that's unimaginable levels of dumb. Someone's screaming down the. You're talking about what wire to cut. Someone's telling you blue, 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 and you go yellow. When was yellow in this conversation? When was yellow ever mentioned in this conversation? It probably was. But when they're screaming blue, blue, blue at you and you cut yellow, that's not okay. And I'm not being funny, but for two of them to do that, instantly me and my friend looked at each other and went, are there two moles? Because we worked out that 
okay, there are seven people left and there's only three more eliminations. So therefore, there's going to be four people in the final. So are two people moles? That would be an interesting twist for the series. Next episode kind of killed that idea because there's a double elimination at the end of next episode. But in this episode, genuinely, we were sat there thinking, it's got to be two. There has to be two of them because there's no way that there isn't a mole in that pair. Because otherwise, I, I, I really, really hope that one of them is the mole because otherwise they are both thick as two short planks. Honestly, I've never screamed at my TV in all of my life like that. I was so, so angry. So, the second challenge of the episode was a shady deal. Each team, it was Diana, Nish, uh, Michael, Muna versus Hannah, Sean, Ryan. They had to send one representative from each car to go meet with Ari. Interesting, because this was where Ryan accidentally let slip that um, Sean is an undercover cop, because Hannah didn't know that. The only people that knew that Sean was an undercover cop was Sean, Ryan, Michael, and Muna? Was Muna the one that watched Sean? I think so. So those three, those four even, know that Sean is a cop an under, or was an undercover cop. But now Hannah knows. And Hannah's like, Ryan, how do you know this information? Obviously, we know Ryan knows it because she watched the video. But to let something slip like that, very interesting. I think she got a little bit too comfortable there. So that's definitely something that is going to be interesting in the background but obviously they sent the delegates they sent them over to Ari and Ari was like yo guys here is the offer that I'm putting in front of you essentially it's split or steal it's not quite split or steal it's earn money or take an exemption but it's essentially the same kind of format there is fifty thousand dollars on the table here okay but someone's going home at the end of the night and obviously the exemption's not just for yourself it's for your entire car so that means a total of potentially four people could be exempt from tonight's elimination which is wild i don't know what they were thinking here i don't know what they were thinking at all but obviously moon is thinking i want the money but I know he's going to go for the exemption. So they go back, they have a little chat, 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 chitty chat with their teammates. And both teams go in with the same game plan of we're going to try and bait them into picking the cash so that we can pick the exemption. And so Muna goes straight in. She starts and she goes, I'm picking exemption because I don't trust you. And I was like, OK big up her for being honest big up because i did not expect that i was expecting her to be trying to seduce him and being like yo we're we're gonna be picking the we're gonna be picking the the cash obviously and that's exactly what sean did and muna just didn't believe him in the slightest i gotta say sean was doing a good job i was if i was in that situation he might have caught me out he might have because i believed what he was saying but obviously, this man's a liar. He's a professional. He knows what he's doing. So he just got inside my head. And I was like, ah. So obviously, they both go and make their decision. And we only find out what Sean chose. But do you, wanna, do you guys want a, a cheeky little spoiler? I'm Just so I can finish talking about this. And then I won't talk too much about it. But just, just so I can talk about this. I'll talk more about it in the next episode. If you don't want the spoiler skip ahead but i'm just gonna quickly say it now you've had your warning three two one right both teams picked exemption so no one got anything i think that was fair i think that was the best way forward i think that was the best thing they could have done so yeah i was happy with that i, I think it was all right i'll talk more about that in the next episode but it was a good ending and it was a nice cliffhanger even though there was one more episode i'll say the end of next episode 
wound me up because I was like, what do you mean I've got to wait another week? What do you mean I've got to wait another week? In fact, I'm not even going to wait another week. I've got to wait another week and three days because I can't watch it Saturday and Sunday. Oh, remember, no spoilers. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today. That is all we've got time for. It's been a good, good season so far. This has been a lot more chaotic and crazy than the first series. I feel like I'm so much more in the dark than the first series. I feel like I worked out quite quickly in season one. But either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe doing all them YouTube things that you guys do so well. If you are interested in the membership, remember there are bonus videos for every single reaction I do with cut content and bloopers. And also there are some cool perks, including emojis and badges. So without much further ado, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Keep on ranting. Bye now.